So I saw this video of this dude who got a thousand ballpoint pens and he took all the ink out of them. But he did it mechanically without using solvent. I want to kind of try to recreate what he did with only a hundred. So I'm going to take them all other cases, make them shorter, and then uh, I got this little tool that I'll use to uh, poke out the ink. I'll set the tube aside and I'll use the solvent later for those. But first, let's get all the ink out of these hundred and see what we get. This weird alien looking substance that's like a tar goo, weird Metal Mario type beat. But it's cool, it's weird. I'm super glad I didn't get this on my hands because I bet you it's ridiculously staining. But 100 ballpoint pens, pretty easy to do, pretty neat. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like some type of like alien substance. And like even holding it up to the light, barely any light passes through it. So it's probably pretty concentrated. I'll figure out what to use that for later. That's 100 pens, you know, so. Imagine a thousand. With this stuff, we'll get some solvent. I'm gonna use acetone and just put it in there, stir it around for a little bit, pour it in a thing, let it dry out in a safe ventilated area, and then pour it in a little jar. For usage, it looks as black as night. It looks like some vicious shit and it's gnarly, but I think we got all the stuff out of those pens, but that is some dangerous looking stuff right there. Look at it. It's I can't even see through. Not bad for 100 pens, but I want more ink. So I bought a gallon of industrial blue marking ink. Um, we're gonna play with this, see what happens. I got some plastic body things, got this one mil syringe so I can be precise, but that's too slow. So we'll put it in a smaller vessel and then use this vessel to pour into the marker bodies. A little safer. Yeah, so we got a few of those to play with. Might throw some up on the eBay, so link in the description if you wanna play with one as well. Um, nothing like a fresh 8mm flat chip marker. Probably could have filled that one up a bit, but that'll be the tester. So, a little on the not opaque side, but very, 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 very flowy. It bleeds and flows. It's really nice to compare. You know, this is like a base ink that we'll compare. But it's very nice to write with. Fun to lay down stuff. Uh, not super opaque, but just flows really nicely out of that marker. As you can see, it just bleeds into this like fiberglass piece. Let's try a buff test with it. Just some uh, flame orange over it. I, ha I highly doubt it'll hold up. So you can see it, it barely bleeds, barely. I, you know, just a light layer and it barely bleeds, if any. So, yeah, let's just use the rest of this marker and just do some super ridiculously over the top juicy tags, just for the fuck of it. Just to see how much it bleeds. It's fun to write with no matter what anyways, and it's super, super flowy. So we got it mostly empty. We won't use this homebrew, we'll use this homebrew, V2. We're not gonna use any of the concentrate though, but we will use some of this base ink in it. Um, we'll make sure it's even using this one mil thing, like perfectly even amount of the uh, acetone, V2. But this is after leaving it open in the sun, leaving that open in the sun, and leaving this open in the sun for a few hours to let it further concentrate for other use later. But pretty much the final product right here, as we can see, the looking pretty dark, so we'll get this juiced up, and yeah, immediately, as you can tell, much more opaque, but still kept a good amount of flow, because if you make this type of uh, ballpoint ink and you... Um, just put it in a pen like this usually doesn't flow very well and it clogs the nib so you kind of have to use something to kind of make it flow better but if you do it writes nicely seems to flow well through this marker body and with that industrial ink as the base ink it uh, is real nice real nice to write with but we'll go ahead and do an additional buff test with this formulation to see how it holds up with basically a supercharged standing power, I'd imagine. So a quick little layer of some uh, hardcore, and as I predicted, it's bleeding through, not completely even, but there's definitely some ghosting going on there, so you can definitely tell directly that the concentrated ballpoint ink definitely added some staining power. Slowed down the flow just a little bit, but definitely added some bleed through, so if that's what you're going for, it'll definitely do that, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
we uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll have those uh, industrial ink markers up on the eBay, and I still have the Gundam marker giveaway going on. To enter, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, and go follow me on Instagram, and you're entered to win, and it'll end sometime. Enjoy, be careful, don't do this at home. It shit gets everywhere, and it's never coming off.